Welcome back, gangsters. Got another watch along today. Ali G in the house. Super excited about this. It'll be a first time watch along for some of us. I'm Leon. Are you, though? I'm Scott. That's better. First I'm Leon. First time watching. My first time to you. Super excited about this. Robert. I'm Jake. I'm Dan. You know, I sound like Leon. Even though he's like the Tony Way, the gay guy. Tony Way! He doesn't start gay. Well, let's not. Spoilers. For a movie that came out. What, what's the... 2012. What's, 2012. Ali G in the house. Oh, 2002. Our, uh, 2002. Ali G in the house. On our seemingly unending quest to reach this Kebby Bakey. <laughs> we're now <laughs> following uh, that one guy from Last Action Hero. Let, let me look. Let me look to um, <laughs> Charles Dance. Charles Dance into Ali G. You'll instantly recognize him. He's uh, one of the villains from Game of Thrones. Yeah, he's the Lannister's dad, the one that dies on the toilet. Yeah. Oh. The... Yeah, the from Last Action Hero, the yeah. bad guy okay, with the eyes. I like his tattoos in that. The neck tattoo. Yeah, because it's oh. like a three color tribal thing. Like, uh, I don't know. I thought it looked pretty good. Well, it is better than your tattoo. It's true. I got mine. Well, well your tramp stamp really sticks out quite a bit. Well, only it depends on what shirt I'm wearing. Most of your. Well, I have, a lot of, I have a lot of high, like, uh, I guess it's called crop tops, some people crop call tops. them. That's but I like when my shirt just brushes my belt buckle. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> So sometimes it can cause, more so than my tramp stamp, my underwear get comments. Because I like to wear really tight pants. Well, well I guess that being said. Your G-strings. Yeah, exactly. I, I like the way it feels. So to sync this audio track up to your copy Smooth. of the 2002 uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's uh, Alley G in the House... Simply pause this I audio you track. David Attenborough. I did not. You're making okay. that up. Sorry, a bold faced ass liar. Simply pause this audio track when prompted. Play your copy of Ali G in the house at the 49 second mark when the working title logo fades to black. Unpause this audio track and you'll be all sunk up. So again, pause this audio track when prompted. Play your copy of Ali G at the 49 second mark when the working title logo fades to black. Unpause this audio track and you will be all sunk up. Sunk it up. So again, pause in three, two, one. Oh, that's such a good movie. Pause. I'm already tired. And we're back. I'm Leon. Universal Pictures Studio Canal Working Title Films presents. So the reason, just a moment ago when I, I mistook the movie as being made in 2012, is the first piece of trivia is in May 2012, the town renamed the town because this movie <laughs> gave it such a bad reputation. I think it's Sheets is what it's called. Stains. Stains, that's it. So now it's Stains Upon Thames. Oh shit, some old ice cube. All right. So now all the funny things where it's like, this movie was filmed upon, and then they use the now current t uh, title, so it's Stains Upon Thames. <laughs> but a lot of uh, people who don't know England very well, I think they would say Stains Upon Thames, because that's how Thames is spelled. It's not, Jake, what are you doing? I'm making sure everything's good to go, as always. Can't do that on the, like, the free one? Free one? <laughs> In the house.
<laughs> Already mm. laughing? Come on. But we just started. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad that that one girl didn't get any lines. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even get a credit, huh? No, she's on there. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Quick. She's so nice. I wish my grandmother mother had uh, reacted in, in such a nice way when she <laughs> when she got you beating yeah. it. Yeah. This is like me driving around. Bumping it to, what is it, the noose? <laughs> <laughs> the NPR. Oh, there we go, NPR. Another interview by a jazz musician. Quick, quick, quick. It's not just a jazz musician. That's not news. Mm -hmm. It's got to be like a, like emotionally crippled refugee, you know, uh. jazz musician. Otherwise, it's... It's just, everybody's got a sad story. Look at how many little cars there are. So, you need slow. It's a fire risk. Oh. 
<laughs> Is that it? Well, it depends on where you want to know him from. Black Panther? Uh, Arthur from Hitchhiker's Guide? That one dude from that one Hobbit movie? The Hobbit from the Hobbit movie? The Unexpected Seriously? Hobbit? Seriously? I actually Jesus. know him from Ali G. <clears throat> You're already laughing? I've laughed a couple times. This movie, no, I mean, I'm just remembering, like, it's one of those movies where you start laughing before that happens. Boys, it just means homosexual. All right, it's good to have you here for this stuff because I literally have no fucking idea. If there wasn't subtitles, well, even then, what the fuck's a baddie boy? <laughs> like the appropriate Dan gearing and everything. Like, <gasps> sign. I think that's like the bird over there, right? I don't know. Is it wrong that I have that same outfit? Arthur, the guy on the right? No. It really accentuates your, your tramp stamp. That's why I got it. I know. I know. You don't see a lot of guys with tramp stamps. That's the thing. Well, it's a real eye drawer. It's conversation because it was super popular in the late 90s to get a tramp stamp. Well, I was just so, a little kid in the late 90s, like a toddler. Give me a break. Well, that I was irresponsible of your dad to let you get a tattoo. Yeah. Well, he was an interesting fella, some yeah, may well. say. I think Barney was a bad choice for a tramp stamp. <laughs> Barney? <laughs> Kids don't know no better. I like dinosaurs, but... <laughs> I like my purple with a little sparkle, tough guy. I wonder how old... I wonder how old Jake would have to be to get him a <laughs> tattoo. Well, it depends on who you asked. Me? Probably when he's old enough. His mother? Probably never. They literally just explained uh, Batty Boy. Oh, shit. Yeah. I was too busy thinking about tattooing a baby. <laughs> Do you see what come down and get with the bruv? You know I can't read. If you is dying to look cool like me, come for some special backspin class in the car park hash one, lessons one day I'm, I'm 
we let me do it inside? <laughs> Just want to get off the crack? Hash lessons. <laughs> All right. Kids on the ground in pain. Did you see that? <laughs> More flies there? No, I'm trying to do the, oh, the snap okay. that he does. So I thought he was fucking having a stroke or something. And they look like a grand mall if I ever seen one. I don't know how he does that. Oh! Do you just snap and just like... No. I don't think you Smack your fingers together really hard. No, that hurt my wrist. Ow! The fuck? My there wrist, he is! My wrist is a lot tougher than yours, I guess. Apparently. I wonder if he ever plays the good guy in anything. Huh. Well, Game of Thrones. Now, I guess he's technically not the bad guy. Hey, I'm sure he's a good guy to his people. No, not really. <sighs> no, they, he, he's enforcing a new religion upon them and killing them. Okay, I'm sure he's a oh, good... Oh, and his family, too. I'm he sure he's really sure he's a good person to his, his family. No, no. He sold off his family. Well, but... For money and power. He also dies on the toilet to his son, right? Yeah, because he, he steals his son's girl and sets him up to be killed? As like a fall No, guy. he had his girl sleep with him... So he could find out what his boy was doing. Oh, really? I didn't actually know because I didn't really And he was pissed off because he caught her. And, yeah. <laughs> he was the enemy in The Golden Child as well. I, I remember that. That's I probably the first thing I know him from. From something. She's so powerfully British. She's very British. Um... Do you remember that one where John Goodman becomes king of England? No. Oh, wait, it's um, a different, different one. Never mind. King um, Ralph? Yes. She looks Why like do a I woman know from that? King Ralph. I don't know. I've never even heard of it. It was popular when I was a kid. I think. Because everyone loved John Goodman, obviously. Batty crease. So is that like a gay crease? Is that be a no, butt. It's butt? Well, because didn't you say batty boy meant gay yeah, yeah, boy? Butt boy. Butt boy. Oh, okay. I'd say you know her from nothing. Hmm. There's nothing here I see that I know you. She looks kind of like a Doctor Who companion. She does look a lot like one. And funny enough, the how I said that uh, King Ralph movie, uh -huh. the, the love interest for that plays the mom of the very companion you're thinking of. Oh, okay. That's because they all so much... I called, like her, I called her Garbage Spice. Oh, uh, okay. Because she's like trashy. <laughs> Good boy, Alfie. Alfie! This is why we don't do it with this stupid dog in here. He ruins everyone, every single watch along. That's why we need to tie him up in such a way that he can't lay down. To <laughs> breathe. Mm, that might be a little much. Hmm? 
Yeah, you can either sit up and breathe or lie down and choke. Hmm. There you are, Dracula and Soul. That's why I know him. Master Vampire. Her. Oh. This is this is the Charles Dance. Oh, okay. I don't remember this scene. Were we watching the extended edition? No. He lasts like five seconds because the guy's got chicken nuggets. And even oh, KFC even steals it if I remember right. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I like this uh, This film is a cult hit in Spain Because of uh, a comedy duo Gomez Su Puma Who modified the original dubbing Of the film to include local jokes And other catchphrases It's like oh that's kind of cool Is that Is that a Beyonce reference? I think so Holy shit <laughs> what? <laughs> the blind pole polisher? Tossed off. They talk so funny. Something's off about her face. Because she's got like a banging body, right? And it seems like this is exactly, you put like a super hot chick in this. But there's something off about her face. She powerfully British too? She's got an Adam's apple. Oh, maybe that's it. Usually I'm into stuff like that. But for some reason this is throwing me off. You know, w women don't have Adam's apples. She's got an Adam's apple. But, never mind. Ah, uh, I made out with plenty of women with Adam's apples, thank you. <sighs> <laughs> so do you think he dropped him while he was watching her or whatever? Or it just came up like that. Probably just came up. It's a certain thickness about her I like, especially around the throat area. <laughs> I like the way she flashed everyone. Yeah, I'd probably get in a system like that.
<laughs> That's great. Because oh, you're a congressman, you're an asshole. <laughs> I've literally done that. <laughs> what? Grab somebody's fist and shake it. <sighs> Which cat did we need? See, do something like that? Do you remember that? It was like Wizard or something. He was about to go after a bird, but then he like slipped. And oh, then, I think like, I remember. Yeah, like totally in shit and just like rolled over and popped up like nothing happened. Yeah. Sat there licking his ass or whatever. Like it's what he meant to do. Because he could tell we were watching and he got nervous. <laughs> it's not right that you do have to basically be unemployed to run for office. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> An attempt to get all the the public shots as genuine, as miserable as the town actually looks. They didn't announce the filming locations, so a lot of those reactions were genuine, apparently. All right. Apparently, again, it's IMDb fucking trivia, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> He was asking if they're uh, on their periods. Didn't mm -hmm. get that. I didn't. If you're all on. They went on means poop. Oh, well, they <laughs> explained it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he staring at, do you think? How expensive this would be for them. Like shit. It's not like here in New Mexico where weed's cheap. <laughs> where it's recreational. Yeah, especially because they're not even smoking weed. <laughs> they're smoking hash. At least that's what he's trying to sell. Maybe. I don't think he's, you gotta you need a pipe for that. You can't smoke it just out of papers. Not with that attitude. Imagine how thin you'd have to roll it. It'd be like a toothpick. I think they call roaches what we call spliffs. Yeah. Isn't it?
<laughs> he laughed. It's like arguing with somebody on fucking Facebook. Or yeah, this is a Fortran argument. <laughs> the grandma's there dancing. Yeah. She's so nice. But I like how this is apparently a phenotype or genotype, whatever, that we mistook multiple different British actresses for this <laughs> moment. <laughs> Is this where I got that from? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like his FUBU because I was wearing FUBU that was a big thing back, <laughs> uh, back in the day for us by us oh okay it means white people only clothing <laughs> I don't even know what he said that guy said was a prostitute, prostitute or something yeah <laughs> the peace sign may be blank, actually <laughs> being the main thing there. I think it is. I think I've seen that before. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, bird. was that the V? Maybe not the peace sign. It's the V, and they're like calling call it like a vagina or something. Yeah. The right honorable gentleman. Me and Jake used to watch British Parliament. Oh, it was yeah. honestly very entertaining. It's so good. It's so much better than watching congressional hearings yeah. and shit. They're arguing about getting an international airport in anywhere other than London. And all the <laughs> money and power in London is like, no, you can't have one. 
that it's called a London tax. So you always have to give London money before you can do any business anywhere else. And um, just how fucking emotional everyone was doing the thing <laughs> was hilarious. Reasonably emotional, but they were allowed to explain, uh, display it. They called each other right honorable gentlemen, yeah. even the women. And they like laugh when they say it to a woman. <laughs> Alligate. <laughs> <laughs> did you almost spit your drink out, or did I? No, no. Uh, there was something on the table I was going off. Oh, okay. Because that's worth pointing out. It's so goes and spits up a big drink. How does he hold the paddle? She looks like she should be prettier than she is. Right? <laughs> that's exactly... Something's off. She's like a pod person or something. Like certain angles, she's really pretty. And then like straight on, you're like, whoa! Yeah, something ain't right. Something ain't right. She's got a banging body, but something's wrong with her. I'm not one to talk. So she's she's her fundamentally face. flawed. <laughs> Jake never says anything negative about women. <laughs> right? Here she is in other roles, Rona Mitra. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we don't usually watch uh, <laughs> comedies, because we're just quietly sitting here watching and laughing along with the movie. Yeah. This movie's so good. Her name's Rona? Yeah. Right. Yeah, she probably lost a lot of play after the virus. Oh, uh, yeah. Even For though Rona I guess Mitra. this is 20 years later. I just noticed too that this is complete full screen. There's no black boxes or nothing. Oh, true sixteen by nine, huh? <laughs> I want to know what pornography is banned in England now. God damn. It's probably shysa porn. Oh. The same way we wrongfully ban horse porn. <laughs> Even horse on horse. It's weird. <gasps> I will... We do things differently here in the States, Robert. I like how those are clear, their mom's overcoats. Mm -hmm. That's obviously LEG. <laughs> I do that on the, the, the German voice, yeah. yeah.
God damn it. I'm not disappointed by this movie, at least. <laughs> is this where I got that idea from? Yeah. Oh, how what? much of my life has been, you know, influenced by this movie, informed by this movie? I cured the uh, the uh, immigration crisis, the problem, immigration, all of it, the whole you thing. You only let sexy people in. Well, yeah. So say you're a man, like me, of means, some means, let's say, and you decided, you know, we, it's just like this. Because, <laughs> you know, there's about to be a generational problem here in America, much like Japan and a lot of the other developed world is facing. What's the that? birth rate's not keeping up and the population's aging. And so you need, like, a huge influx of young people to take care of the elderly and work a lot of jobs that the elderly can't do. And we don't you know, have that. It's going to become an issue. I believe that uh, Kylo Ren said it best. Hmm. It's time to let old it's things die. It's time to die. let old things die. I can't wait till we do that movie. As some like edge lords want to be like, oh, the prequels, that's where it's at. No. It's the new trilogy. That's your gold right there. I never understood the appeal. Of the original trilogy. Uh, the second one is by far my favorite movie out of all of them. And then Rogue One. You know what I like most about the second one? Empire? My only favorite part? Empire? The snow battle at the beginning. You That's know? one of my favorite parts. Yeah, that makes the movie for me. The music and then when they like invade the what have you. The trample over a fucking rebel base. Yeah. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Use my watch to shine it in people's eyes. Did they paint him black? It's his job to read this proposal, even though he's these are his words. Yeah, he's uh, he's like the whip of their party. Is <laughs> a what? A dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Across and like 
<laughs> he like, you know, gives a little, him, yeah. yeah, like a little touch. <clears throat> I saw a funny short. It was like, white friend comes over and meets a uh, friend's crackhead uncle for the first time. <laughs> it's just like this massively buff motherfucker doing this really aggressive fucking rap at a white kid sitting on his bike who's like standing really still. But then the white guy comes up and he's like, Gives him some like little gentle touches, like "Come on, man, join me in dancing and rapping." <laughs> and then the white kid just kind of like, and he like touches him in the back a couple times, like it's cool, it's cool. You know, it's like yeah, it's actually really nice. It just reminded me of that the little the little touch on the leg. What a matchup. I wonder how much he would get paid being a member of parliament. Probably in pounds, probably about a hundred, hundred grand. In the House of Commons. That's about what it is for Congress here. Hundred fifty grand. There's a funny thing where uh, the I Queen's think literally two hundred. Of all the places in the world, apparently the Queen's not allowed within the House of Commons. Really? Yeah. Hmm. That's where the Prime Minister lives, right? Hmm. No, it's where they serve. The House of Commons serves. Oh, okay. That's their own. It's kind of like the, the their own little system. Oh God! <laughs> he thinks Asian people have Down syndrome. Yeah, it reminds me of someone. You're in your nightgown? Okay. <laughs> All the glitter, she looks so much like a fucking stripper. I'm sure that's the point, right? This, oh, she just doesn't know anywhere. This is exactly the kind of British girl I don't like. Like the trailer trash British girls. Have you seen the, like all the stupid trends that they have there for the women? I have seen some, I don't know how recently, but it's kind of like like a female Trump thing, where they paint themselves orange yeah. and I, they I wear big fur coats. Oh, it's like hookers? M to the B. Uh, it's, it's terrible. Orange, gaudy makeup. Yeah, that terrible. sounds about right. Oh, we were talking about this, right? Like that South African chick or whatever. I don't remember that. What's her? I forget her name. Oh. Um, I can't think of her name. She's like a musician or something. Yeah. Oh. From Dion Word? I, yeah. I don't know. No, that's nothing like that. Put a You put a, some orange paint on her? And a fuzzy jacket, and you're there. You're yeah. literally there. They're almost more like dirty South pride. Yeah. But dirty South African pride. Both of those conjure quite an image. <laughs> Look at that fucking door. <laughs> Is that his wife? Yeah. Look at him smoking inside. It's a ballsy move. Diplomatic community. Diplomatic communities. You're just like smoking inside. 
They're both smoking? Can a prime minister even smoke? You know, they said Obama smoked. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't smoke a lot. <laughs> no bloody way. Former English Africatorial uh, colony. So he says bloody. But, uh, Like, can that be real? What it was? What the fuck? Age of consent sixteen? Is that what he just said? I don't know. I, I can't understand what they're saying. <laughs> Is that why you can't find British porn? They're all sixteen. <laughs> the fuck? No. It, even uh, if the age consent is under 18, just for international laws, almost every country still makes it so you have to be 18 before you can be born. All right. I like that. Yeah. It's probably for the best. Yes. <laughs> Goddamn dog. That was me. I just moved my cup. Oh, okay. Shut up, Alfie. I'm working, bitch. <laughs> what does it say? Increase the peace? Increase for peace? Something like that. Get a little bit too steep. Oh, but that would taste awful for anyone who doesn't know. You would immediately recognize the tea was bad and not drink it. It's like that Earl Grey, though. That's a black tea. It's dark That's tea. They, they drink dark tea. I heard that actually, having never been to Britain, that they drink a pretty weak tea. What? No, compared to people in Phoenix and Arizona and shit, yeah. My Their tea right here. Is shit. Yeah, my tea right here is super dark. You know, like, it's it's tea. Put some hair on your tea. Well, considering you don't have a top on and your straw is standing up in it. <laughs> Pretty that's much right. out tea. I watched one where it's like, how to make British tea. And they, like, they boil the water and then they stick the bag in it for, like, a minute and a half. And pour it <laughs> like, out. once, two... Three. All right, here you go. No, and then we do sun tea. It's like, oh, you put 38 bags of tea into a gallon of water and you leave it in, in the sun to, to steep all day. Pepperami? 
I find if you purposely say words wrong, people will argue with you online. Pepperoni. <laughs> it's such a ducky cloth. <laughs> uh, we call that gophery, gopher holding, by the way. Gopher. I mean, or in uh, New Mexico, gopher holding. That's a New Mexican term. Yeah. What are you talking about? When the poop's so close to the edge that it's coming out a little bit, in and out, right there. Yeah, oh. when it peeks in and out, it's whole, like a... Like some sort like of ground hog. Yeah. Yeah. Some sort of ground rat. How do I not know this term? You're new. Yeah. You're in New Mexico. He's <laughs> just taking everything. As well, he should. One of the funniest movies with the worst mo uh, endings ever. The It's Smash Mouth. Uh, rat Race. Rat oh, Race. Fuck. It's from that. John yeah. Lovett's daughter is like, "Come on, Dad, pull over. I'm gopher holing over here." And he's like, "What does gopher holing mean?" She's like, "Well, you know when he starts." And she's like, "Ah!" <laughs> <laughs> He's got a fake hand. I didn't notice that before. How it took effort to make that uh, the middle finger up gesture. Because I like it's just like the typical, uh, you know, movie structure or whatever. This is the third act, you know, low point or whatever. And then you got the big action piece at the end and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just like you take your typical movie plot and you just plug in all your Ali G stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? The narrator masturbating and then not caring that people were watching him? I'm assuming. Oh shit. 
This song has got a good soundtrack. I think it's going to get extra points for that. It's true, I actually liked a lot of the songs. <laughs> I can't say the same song from uh, same song from when he met her. <laughs> the song he was thinking about? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> this is when they met. Because it was before his wigger stage or whatever. Just leaves her in his grandma's home. But you're the wave, what? <laughs> uh, it's made it go. You notice I couldn't get the tie on done, so he's still wearing it. Nice. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Alright, like the camo. <laughs> Have you never seen this before? You didn't realize that was a joke coming? <laughs> I feel like I may have seen the part where they break into... See, I think I've seen this part. Well, this is the big action uh, finale or whatever. Yeah, I showed you this part. And you like, got know a long time away. ago? Yeah, like when he came back from Texas. Okay, yeah, ago. okay. Then I do remember you showing me this. <laughs> what the fuck? Because he was, that's the three guys. It's him and the big guy and, and the other one. Ricky C. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> the nerds there. I like how that wasn't a one-off shot. Yeah, he's like he's his own gang. <laughs> Bundle? <laughs> I'm assuming it's a British term. Oh, that's dead. Dog pile? Yeah. yeah Those guys deadly. would be dead at the bottom. Yep. But they're not off them pretty quickly. We literally hope some kids in fucking orange dogs died that way. <laughs> this is called the House of Commons, right? No. I, I knew that's what it is. Well, there's a House of Commons and a House of Lords. To be part of the House of oh. Lords, you have to be royalty. Well, because I know the like Prime Minister, I thought the Prime Minister stayed at the House of Commons. He's the acting Prime Minister. Oh, the Prime Minister might. It's just the Queen can't go there, is all I know, honestly. <laughs> it's just because I saw a thing recently. Since they keep smoking? Oh, Jesus. Like how this is no more ridiculous than like I don't know scenes from like Charlie's Angels and so many other fucking movies that have shit like this. Yeah, well, that's it's a total spoof on that exact thing. Yeah, they're even doing it where he's explaining the plan and they're acting it out like as they're yeah as he's explaining it. You know, it's like so many cliches, but it's a comedy, so that it even works to the betterment, right? Yeah.
Alright. Tell me why this wouldn't work, Jake. Um, well, I don't know, putting batteries in series isn't going to gain you much, but you don't electrocute safes open. How does that undo a locking mechanism? It's an electronic lock. Ooh. Oh. So, so wouldn't all these guys get fried? No, I don't think so. Like you said, they're wearing... Probably only the last guy would... <laughs> Probably only the last guy would get shocked, or anybody that was grounded. <laughs> it would also be instantaneous. Electricity moves as fast as the speed of light. To give you some idea of how fast electricity is. I assume those are real British people. Yeah, they're shots. probably um, politicians. Yeah, be my guess. I and I. Like how, like, I mean, it's a lot of land, don't get me wrong, but in England, I've had 600 acres seems like, you, like, oh my god. Yeah, like, like some un shit. unrealistic amount. Yeah. It's like, there's 20,000 acre farms for sale right now in the United States, if you're curious. <laughs> <laughs> Even had a gun. <laughs> <laughs> they call those Indian birds in New Mexico. <laughs> Native American birds. Wrong kind of Indian. Is that the kind of Indian they meant? No.
How do you like those pinstripes? I'm not a big pinstripe guy. I like pinstripes. I see them on a lot. I don't really care for them. The classic AF. That means he pooped himself a little. <laughs> Fucking brave people. <laughs> Damn it! They keep explaining it after I already say it. It's like it was made for an audience that maybe isn't wholly British. Yeah, that doesn't understand what the fuck you're talking about. Talk about this later. Is that where you, is that, is that, is that where Leon got the voice? <laughs> <laughs> How much of my life is informed by this goddamn movie? Most people don't realize this, but Leon's an imaginary character I made up and sometimes do funny skits with. And apparently gets a lot of his influence from Ali G. In the yes. house. <laughs> I think he makes a good Bilbo. Hmm. Are we doing Desolation of Schmoke after this? Oh, an unexpected Hobbit too. Yes. Yes, our literally least watch watch along. We get more views in one day on our watch-alongs then we've gotten the entire time on The Hobbit. Take it down and repost it. You think it repost it? That is probably one of the smarter things you've ever said. That's, you're not really supposed to do that. Unless you edit it. Okay. okay. I can edit it. Like, <laughs> I say okay. <laughs> you know, like, oh, that's so easy. I'll just get Robert to do it. <laughs> There's no buds on that weed. He's... he's gr Ha, 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 ha. 
Mr. Reggae Ambassador. Diplomatic community. What's with the pith helmet? Is that like a reggae thing? Oh shit! This is how we do it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Diplomatic bags, huh? <laughs> You're on the west side. God, this has got a good soundtrack. <laughs> How did they get him to do this? Money. Uh, that's true. He might actually have a really good sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know that guy I accidentally fucked over a bit? Let's get him here, too. What the fuck was that? <laughs> the bell end. Alright, well. Alright. That's true. <laughs> it's been ended by my listen to Harry Potter. <laughs> oh shit favorite part is the beginning so what'd you think favorite part is the beginning the shootout dream? the, shootout the whole dream? shootout dream part do you like that I thought it was pretty good. They had had me laughing that, that, from the very beginning, which I was kind of surprised. I'm going to say soundtrack. I don't okay. really feel that soundtrack. Okay. Out of all the movies we watched, it's probably, I put it right at the top. Um, oh, sorry. I thought you were done. I'm done. That oh. was him. Uh, favorite part? Um, when he makes uh, Charles Dance read the I'm a bell end, I used <laughs> to be a, a girl who wears knickers. Yeah. I used to ask me mom. mom honest. <laughs> that was so fucking funny. Uh, oh, and then the little, the little pat on his leg afterward. Like, yeah. Second favorite part. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Well, I got one. Um, the yeah. ending when they were gay, the two... The two uh, the I was going to say the friends. Yeah. Or even just the gang members in general, how goofy all the gangs were. That was pretty funny. How they're like... They're sticking within the speed limit while racing. <laughs> they like how that's so counterintuitive. It was good. It was good. Get it in. It was a good movie. I, Surprising. I, I, and it's like 85 minutes long. 
Well, I did not want to watch this. I'm going to put that out there, and... And from now, we're going to follow this into an Unexpected Hobbit 2. So you're going to get... And, of course, we're doing the extended edition. What's so already 11? That is a movie we're going to watch, but actually go from this to... Um, God, where is it? It's, the list is so fucking long now. Uh, we're going to do an Edge of Tomorrow. All right. Uh, I've been looking forward, forward to that. Game. We're following Tony Way, the fat guy. Tony? Okay. Yeah, Tony he's the Wayne. naked one, right? Yeah. I like to be free. He's the one that I noticed in this one. I Balls won't. out! He never I noticed that. him from this watch along. That's what? this. I didn't know it was the same guy. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That's funny. It's good to see him get some work. <laughs> He's goofy looking as shit. He did a, a decent American accent. Not that it's apparently all that hard, but. Okay. I never picked up on him being uh, British. Yeah. In the... He's a surprisingly good actor with his voice. <laughs> he sounds just like Lena. Why don't I say actually? <laughs> that was probably one of my favorite parts. That was so funny the first time I saw it. Yeah. Because we thought we were going to die. So we're like, all right. <laughs> How is it? How about that? I'm like, it's quite nice, actually. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's quite nice, actually. Yeah. Straight out of Compton. Yeah, there was a lot. So, uh... Next movie, Edge of Tomorrow, and then Lake Placid. Nice, and then some classics. Obviously, we are not doing these out of order, so uh, Independence Day will be next. All right. Other After than that, The yeah. Hobbit. And then at some point in the future, we'll get to an Unexpected Hobbit too. No, we should just do that as a surprise watch. We should. Know. Maybe this weekend. Yeah. Maybe next weekend. But it goes Bill... Yeah. No, I don't want... Because... Yeah. We do these in a funny order. We stick to the list religiously. Yeah. That's why a movie that we've already posted will be on the list in four months. Alright. I was not disappointed by it, though. No, it was pretty good. The worst part of the movie was probably that... The weird British, this is how we do on the British East Side, where they like... Yeah, the Spice Girls cover of This Is How We Do It. Yeah. It's cheaper than buying the song, even though they bought the actual song. Alright, so my question is, do they actually have weird sort of chicky nuggies at KFC in Britain? Oh, yeah. Uh, You have to assume. Yeah. Why would they lie? That was a hard R. Alright, good night!